Welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. It's probably already clear to you by now that Excite Pro was created with non-designers firmly in mind. In addition to the dizzying array of available templates, you can add a huge range of special design elements to your individual web pages, even if you have no design or development expertise of any kind. We do the heavy lifting for you. These elements are added to our site using simple design wizards, either available from the toolbar of your design tab or by right-clicking whenever you're in designer mode. In this tutorial, we'll discuss each of these design wizards in turn and establish just how beneficial they can be when constructing a fully functional site. Let's begin with headlines. They come in two flavors, basic and advanced. Basic is easy. You simply enter your headline text here, choose a predefined style, and when you click OK, there it is. I'll center it, and insert a line break using Shift-Enter, and there, we have a very serviceable headline. Advanced takes it to the next level by giving you total control over the visuals. You can choose the exact level of headline as well as the font, color, and alignment. It's as easy as using a word processor. Let's move on to text boxes, which are terrific for drawing the user's attention to a particular passage. This could be a product highlight, testimonial, or some time-sensitive opportunity. These two come in multiple versions. The basic text box allow you to enter some text and to manipulate all the visuals. You can set the size of the box, its color, and alignment on the page. The text within it can also be fully formatted. And finally, you set the color, width, and style of your border. Advanced text boxes bring one more important thing to the table, custom frame styles. There are two types, those that look great over any color background, and those that due to border design are best used over a white background. On the next tab, you've got all the familiar formatting settings. I'll adjust the width, and choose the alignment to display on the right relative to the body text. And finally, there's the testimonial, which is very similar to basic, but adds space for a photo as well as a specially formatted name section. Let's move on to the bulleted list. Lots of folks use bulleted items in their web page copy, but who says those bullets have to be boring? Just enter a few bullet points here, and then choose a much sexier custom bullet here. If you're not satisfied with any of these, there are many more available in Excite Pro's ClipArt library. And speaking of ClipArt, note that there are a great many useful graphics that can be inserted into your page. For example, payment logos for all the major credit cards plus PayPal, logos that communicate guarantees, arrows of every size and persuasion, and custom horizontal lines so that you can separate your text elements with pizzazz. Just watch as I insert a guarantee stamp here on this page. And the fun doesn't end there. Your clip art library also includes large and small buttons with some of the more common words and phrases already etched into them. Just select the word choose a button. You can choose its background color and add a bit of alt text to make your site more accessible. And most importantly, the URL of the target page. You can also choose whether or not you'd like this page to open in a new window. Finally, let's talk about highlighted text. Remember going over your old college textbooks with a highlighter pen to mark key phrases? Well, you can do the same with your web copy to accentuate the important parts. Used sparingly, it can really help guide the reader toward the next step. Now obviously the standard here is bright yellow highlighting on black text. You can change it if desired, but just make absolutely sure you keep it high contrast. Adjust other formatting as appropriate, and click OK. And that's it. You've just loaded up your page with all sorts of functional, aesthetically pleasing design elements. No design degree required.